look at that. It is the 40th anniversary of this University of Detroit Mercy basketball team that scored this upset against Marquette. The 1977 Titans made it all the way to the Sweet 16. That team is going to be remembered Friday night at Callahan Hall when the Titans take on Oakland University. We're so excited to have this man right here, Earl Curitan, a huge part of the Titans, of course, joining us here in studio. It's great to see you again. Good seeing you too. So tell us about this reunion. I mean, this seems like a really, really special night. Well, I tell you, I'm really excited about it. Uh, it's been 40 years and you know, time really goes by and we're going to have an opportunity to do a number of things that night and we want to try to recreate what happened 40 years ago. Uh, Dick Vitale is coming back and the court is named after him right now and uh, we're going to retire Terry Durod's number uh, finally. finally uh, yeah, yeah, he's going to go up into the rafters and we all know he had a great career at the University of Detroit. Also, we're going to celebrate the 77 team that went to the Sweet 16 that year that had John Long and Terry yeah. Tyler and Ron Bostick, Dennis, Dennis Boyd, Boyd and Wilbur McCormick and, and Jeff Whitlow. And they're all going to be there too, right? Yeah, and we'll yeah. all be there and they play Oakland University at the same time that night. So it's, it's going to be an exciting night and all the fans around Detroit that remember those days, how we used to pack the arenas. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I have obviously I came in a year later and yeah. kept the tradition going. Uh, but just bringing Vital back and showing the impact that he had on our program uh, and for four years at the University mm -hmm. of Detroit, when you talk about Detroit, uh, basketball. You talk about Dick Vitale, and uh, you know now that you know the team's in a rebuilding process uh, with Bakari, and he's doing a great job of trying to put this team together. A big win for them over over Youngstown last night, yeah, and uh, sure. you know so it's moving right along. I have to give uh, Robert Viles and Dr. Gary Bali a lot of credit for looking back into the past and letting people know that we have a tradition at, uh, at the University of Detroit, just yeah, like Michigan, Michigan yeah. State, uh, <laughs> University of Detroit <laughs> had a tradition too. We gotta give props to you guys, right? right. You mentioned Coach Vitale. Uh, just tell us, what it was it like to be to be coached by him? Well, I mean, Dick was impactful not only for basketball, but uh, I think this reunion is going to show uh, the quality of young men mm -hmm. that we came out to be. Uh, you know, Vital always preached to us each and every day about the importance of life and mm -hmm. after basketball and just for 40 years to bring all these guys back. You know, the coaches are going to be there and the kind of atmosphere that he created, uh, you know, with us, you know, and Smokey Gaines and Mike Brunker and all those guys will be back. And Jack Morris, our trainer, we haven't everybody come back to it, but uh, he was truly impactful to our organization and meant a lot. When you can make phone calls and pull everybody together in 40 years, he had to be pretty impactful. Oh, I bet. <laughs> and we were talking about the former teammates and everything. I love the fact that you all stay in touch and you're <laughs> still close. Tell us about your your bond still. <laughs> Man, we still, you know, Terry Durod and of course John Long. I'm, I'm still, we're still working together. Terry Tyler, I talk to on the phone on a consistent basis all the time. Our guys from New York, Ron Bostick and Dennis Boyd and Wilbur Ross still stay in contact. So we're a close-knit close group. Uh, some of those guys I didn't even play with, but I, I got to know really well when I came into the University of Detroit. And me and Durod had an opportunity to go back to the NCAA tournament his senior year and uh, to have his number retired and uh, all the wonderful things that he's done here in the city of Detroit. Uh, being a firefighter for you know 28 years and uh, winning the NBA championship with the Boston Celtics and for his number to be going up in the rafters, you know, I'm really uh, going to be excited about seeing all this stuff happening and seeing all these guys. And you can imagine the stories that's oh, going to be told. I'm sure a lot of stories <laughs> to be shared. And I love right. the fact that you still have such a connection and yeah. working still here in the city that you love. Well, yeah, I'm doing, you know, I do the broadcast for UAD every year. Uh, Bakari's doing a great job mm -hmm. of trying to pull things back. The whole thing, Vital's going to address the team and talk to them. And it'd be good for the young players there to have an opportunity to see what it was at University of Detroit to create memories. You know, because when you go there, you want to try to do the same thing that we do. You want to duplicate that. So, you know, as you get older, you know, you got something to look back on. So they'll have a chance to see what the history of the University of Detroit was. So what's your your favorite, <laughs> one of the biggest memories for you as being a Titan? I tell you, um, playing with Durod my his senior year, my junior year, uh, and we talk about the Marquette game. We duplicated the same score in Marquette, beat Marquette in Marquette, 64-63 on a jump shot by sweet Terry Durod on the buzzer. Oh. <laughs> so I always remember that yeah, game because <laughs> it was just as big. It was kind of overshadowed uh, from Vitals there. And Dave Smokey Gangs actually coached that team. We went up there, but we did the exact same thing. He hit the shot from almost the exact same spot. Oh, and wow. uh, you know, we had a lot of fans around the city. I run into them all the time. So I'm encouraging all of them to come back on February the 10th 
that's going to be a huge night and uh, looking forward to having a great time that night. Yeah, and we do want right. to give people the information again on Friday that luncheon is in the afternoon, correct? Yeah, we're going to have a luncheon from three to five uh, in the ballroom. Uh, Vital will be there. The whole 77 team will be there. Uh, they'll have media before there from two to three and then we'll go on court at 630. Uh, Terry Durai's number is going to be retired and then we'll have the big game. And as you know, UAD upset Oakland. They had having a good season, but they went in and beat Oakland and Oakland will be in the building that night. We look yes, to try to duplicate will. that win. See too. what you can do to the Grizzlies, right? <laughs> exactly. All right, Earl Puritan, thank you so much. You. Always great to see you. you we'll have more information on our website, WXYZ.com. We'll be right back.